Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program with Lone Debater 7. And today we're going to be showing off how to set up a titanium smeltery. Um, so that's kind of the plan for today. We'll let this generate and then kind of fly the resources back. I have let some research tick through after this guy is done right here, which is one of the researches you have to have in order to make the materials to build the yellow cubes. We'll actually research how to make the yellow cubes. So let's go ahead and throw down some gatherers. We're gonna start out, we'll put one there, one there, one there. Uh, that's not a very good spot. We'll maybe put him back here. Okay, so we'll throw down four, just real quick so we can produce a lot of titanium. With this, they should, if we connect like two of them together, like so. That should provide full belts of titanium, I'm, I'm almost certain. So we'll do that. We'll throw... Well, we'll wait to throw the power down until we do some more. We are going to take a splitter. And what we're going to do is throw in one end, throw in two ends, and then we're going to have two ends come out. So we'll have one set of smelters right there. We'll have one set of smelters right there. We'll get these plate. Whoops, that's not where I want that. I want it so the middle one is at the end of the track. So there we go. There we go. There we go. So we can do six on this side. And then we could extend this belt a little bit longer if we really wanted to, but I don't think we need to. Uh, so we can build, what is that, 11, I think, titanium smelters, which that should be enough. Um, now, I did want to try out the... So if you push your less than key, you can copy a recipe out of these smelters. And then if you hover over one that doesn't have a recipe, you can hit greater than and it will go ahead and put the um, it'll copy the recipe number for you so we're gonna do something like this we'll throw the storage container right here and this one we're not actually gonna put a buffer on meaning there's not gonna be like we want all 30 stacks to gen up while we're away from this planet um, I think there's gonna be enough power to run all of these if not we'll go expand our thermal power station a little bit and deal with it that way but we're gonna throw in advanced sorters on the tail ends just so stuff moves quickly and then on the inputs we will just use regular sorters just because they are fast enough to fuel everything and we want to make sure that all of these furnaces or smelters are actually operating if that makes sense so no worries just about got it perfect so now all the sorters are in place the smelters are in place let's go ahead and power these bad babies up so we're gonna do something like that so that'll get those two and then I might be able to place one like there to hook it to power and power the other two so there we go this is our smeltery for titanium all set up nice and neat uh, pretty easy uh, it would well we might you know what? I want a full 12 instead of 11. Like, why would you stop at 11? Let's just go for 12. Forget it. Can I copy that? Yeah, I can because it... So it's kind of like um, clipboard copy and paste in this game. So if you copy a recipe, it'll stay saved until you copy a different one. So there we go. We've got the research to make diamonds. We'll do that back on our home planet. But there, there you have it. There's your titanium smeltery. What we're going to do while we're here, and since the resource is here, is we're also going to build a silicon smeltery. Now, we don't need silicon quite yet, but I still want to have a fair amount of silicon kind of built, if that makes sense. Uh, that way, when we do need it, we can kind of, kind of use it. So I'm just going to stand in here to charge us up. So it looks like the titanium smeltery uses about seven. So I think we'll be able to do this uh, similar size smeltery for the silicon and still be fine on power. Uh, if we might throw in one more thermal generator just to be extra safe on that. 
because you don't want to run out of power if you can help it. It's not great when that does happen. So, yeah, that's good enough. All right. So let's connect these bad boys up. Uh, we'll throw that one like that. Um, okay. There's that. We're going to throw down another splitter. Now this splitter... We're going to throw, like, right here, I guess. So this one... Come on. Snap, please. That's all I need. There you go. Okay. Do that. And this one is going to go in like that. And then we're going to do this uh, similar, like, little L shape. So we'll put a belt there. Put a belt there. And then the goal is to fit six smelters on each of these lines. So... Just place them down and we'll expand the belts as needed. Four, five, and six. So we need to expand that belt a little bit. That's okay. Easily done. Um, I do want to leave a little bit of room on the on this one just so there's sorter space. Five and six. Cool. So we do need to extend the belts just slightly. Not not a big deal. Go ahead and get those done. Then we're going to take this along like that, throw it right there, put down another storage box, and we're going to leave this one at 30 as well because I think that makes the most sense. So let's go ahead and get silicon bars, I guess. We also could make double this and make silicon bars and the crystals. So silicon... We'll start out by making the silicon bars in these six, because that is the base uh, material for silicon. Like, that's what you make um, with the ore. It's the only recipe for the ore. So, once we have these, we need some just bars, I believe, and then others we need in the crystalline form. Um, so, we'll we'll set up a second set. Maybe Maybe we'll do, like, another six smelters connected off of this box um, to turn some of our ingots into crystals and we'll store those as well. That way we've got all of our silicon stuff kind of built at least. And then once we finally get the interplanetary logistics system research finished, we'll be able to transport our silicon um, between our, our various bases on planets and stuff like that and use it wherever we need it as opposed to just here. So there we go. There's that part of it is pretty well, pretty well set. Go ahead and power up our miners or gatherers, whatever the, they call them. Uh, put one there, put one there, and there. Okay. We do need an advanced sorter on this one. Uh, it won't actually go right there. So replace the storage unit. Okay, cool. There we go. So that's making our bars. That's pretty easy. We're just going to take um, a second line out right here, and we'll set up a few more smelters to turn some of our bars into the ingot, or the crystals. So there's six of them. That should be plenty of production on crystals. Uh, and over time, so like, since we're leaving this... Uh, set this planet eventually to go back to our starter planet to finish doing science and all that kind of stuff even if these aren't fully efficient meaning there isn't enough material to constantly produce there will be enough material most of, like they will eventually fill up so like when we fly back here you know however long later uh, we'll, we'll actually be able to gather up the resources we need because it will have generated and filled both boxes so let's go ahead get these all set up now granted with that being said um basically this box won't be full until this box is full so setting it up now before we need the silicon items is smart because then we will have a fair amount of them available to us as soon as we need them like we won't have to build a factory in order to get silicon stuff so there we go. We've got that all set up. So now we've got our silicon and titanium smelters all set up. So we've got some silicon crystals going. 
We've got some bars going. I am gonna get rid of this ore that's just chilling in my bag because I don't really need it now. Um, when we go back to the planet, we're gonna have to restock on supplies, but that's fine. I think I'm gonna use most of my inventory space to carry titanium because that's what we actually need right away. Um, but let's just fly on over here. I'm gonna throw away this titanium ore as well. So as you can see, these titaniums or titanium miners are fast enough to kind of feed everything, which is pretty good. What I could do to speed up the input speed on the storage box is take this and just expand it a little bit. And then what we can do is throw in three advanced sorters. That should be more than enough to keep this belt empty, I would think. Normally it's just going to take the first two, but every once in a while the third one will go as well. We almost have a half full box, which is pretty good, seeing as we just set this up. Um, but okay, let's see, move those over there. I guess we can put steel up at the top. We actually use steel for, well, steel is used for like the refinery type stuff, so that's fine. We're gonna have to pick up iron when we get back, but that's also fine. I did build some power poles over to the stone, but I don't actually need to use stone. Um, unfortunately, there's no oil on this ice planet. I did take a look. So if you hit map, you'll be able to see what's available for you. So these are the only ores on this planet. So there's no crude oil. There's none of that kind of stuff, which is unfortunate because if there was crude oil, we could set up the entire factory to use this titanium to make the crystals we need. So basically the yellow packs, they take two components. They take one of these, a titanium crystal, and one of these, a diamond. So the diamond's pretty easy. You just make energetic graphene and pass that through a smelter a second time and you'll get diamonds. So that's an easy recipe. We can do that basically where our power set up on our main planet. The titanium crystal is a little bit more complicated. You do need light oil and water because you make these organic crystals in a chemical facility. And honestly, you need two chemical facilities. So you need one to turn light oil and energetic uh, graphite into plastic then you need a second one to take that plastic a little bit more light oil and some water to turn it into organic crystals once you have these you pass them through an assembler with three titanium plates and it'll make you your titanium crystal or whatever so it's not super duper complicated but it's complicated enough that it you know we're gonna need some space for that factory I think I should have enough room in our bag right now to empty out this box and I mean, this is 2,000 titanium, I believe, or close to, anyway. So we should be doing reasonably well as, like, this is a good starting amount. That should make, if you divide it by three, it's almost 1,000 yellow sciences that we'll be able to make with just the titanium that's generated thus far. What I'm going to do is wait until we produce enough titanium ingots to fill our entire bag, and then I'm going to fly back to our starter planet, um, and we'll kind of talk about how to set up yellow science the research will probably be done close close to then let's see so this says about 13 minutes yeah it, it should line up pretty good um anyway guys i just wanted to show off building titanium and silicon uh processing facilities that way you know if you're struggling on getting those set up you have a little bit of a guideline for it now um with that being said if you enjoyed the episode be sure to like comment subscribe as always and until next time this has been lone debater 7 and we will see ya